Hello everybody, this is Alls House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. In the previous episode, with the dungeon looming over us, we decided it was best to start growing our bonds with our confidants to gain more power. And before I get into this, I actually kind of feel like I want to give a shout out to this one, uh, this one fan fiction I've been reading by the gangsta Gandalf called Royale. Or royal, however you want to pronounce that word. Uh, it's actually very well written, at least in my opinion it is. A uh, story about what if Kasumi was the main character of Persona 5 Royale. And when I say Kasumi, well actually I, I can't say anymore because that would be spoilers and Atlas doesn't like spoilers. But whatever. Seriously. Check it out. I highly recommend it. Hell, I'll put a link to it in the description for you to check out. But, anyways, with that little promotion over... Uh, da -da 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 -da, it is the 27th, and we are going to continue growing our bonds. Now, let me make sure... Yep, I've got a fortune persona. So, in case it isn't obvious, we're going to be seeing Chihaya. No test today. Instead, I have a request for you. Will you please hear me out? I'll be right there. Thank you so much. Can we talk after I close up shop? I'll contact you again later for when to meet up. <sighs> Kruzu-san, honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? This one doesn't matter. You're only realizing that now? It's not that, I just need some time to accept that reality. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature. Eternal, impossible to defy. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the world. Um. How can I become one of those people, Karusu-san? This one does matter. Trust in yourself. What? Trust in myself instead of my fortune-telling? I've never thought of it that way before. Uh, the rest of the responses for this social link don't matter. Or not social link, this ain't Persona 4. For this confidant, rank up don't matter. And there's Ghost of Tsushima installing an update. This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. Wait, did I read the last one? Yeah. There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country, Kurusu-san. It was a small, traditional town, deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. Hmm, that sounds so peaceful. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to the elders, as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village, what there I... It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to this city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is fate tr is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head-on with my own strength. Although, the chairman would be really mad if he found out. The chairman? Oh, uh, oh don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. 
I think it'll work. Right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange. At least until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune-telling for you. I can sense Chihaya's intense motivation. But no new skill. All right. Well then. Thank you for today, Kurusu-san. Until next time. Good night. Uh, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Well, may as well continue with the Master Swordsman. Hmm? A heart that never backs down is the secret to Bushido. Mm. Something about the spirit of the samurai seems useful, but this book looks difficult. Hey, hey. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So, how far did you get? Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. I skipped breakfast, so now I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? Haha. <laughs> Yeah, it really is a totem pole. It's so colorful. I'd just love to watch people try to eat it. I'm amazed whenever someone can eat it really neatly. Mm. Eating a totem pole? Neatly? I wonder why they call it the totem pole. Uh, for the way it looks? Mm. I can't imagine what kind of food looks like a totem pole. And eating it impresses people? The mystery deepens. The totem pole at the diner, huh? Okay, I'm interested. Oh, have you heard? Have we ever thought your phone went off but nothing actually happened? It seems so many of us, many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Would anyone like to tell me what that stands for? I need an answer. Mr. Caruso, let's hear it. What is the f this phenomena commonly called in English? Okay, let's try to puzzle out this acronym. So, PVS, if, if, uh, PVS referring to when you mistakenly think your phone going off. What's the P? Phantom? Right. It's got to start with Phantom, since you're only imagining it. And the next part... Uh, the next is the V part. That means it'll, it'd be Phantom what? Vibration. That's it! When your phone buzzes, you say it's vibrating. The last part eh, is S, so if we have Phantom Vibration so far... Syndrome. Good. The correct English term is Phantom Vibration Syndrome. If you're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. This is an affliction that can only affect, the moder uh, affect a modern society where being connected 24-7 is commonplace. No He's pretty smart. I didn't expect that. He might not be too bad. Nice going. You're on a roll today. When I was a student, I'd get so worked up uh, waiting for uh, that. I'd get all worked up waiting for my SO to call me at night. Nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. Mm. Think it'll ever get to a point where we'll be able to read each other's minds? I'll pass on that. Thanks. Okay, now let me double check that we've got a Hermit Persona, because... Yep, here we are. We're going to be spending time with Futaba. Well, 
Although, what day is it? Uh, ooh, it is a Wednesday. I don't think I've done my daily... Uh, let me check real quick. Or weekly, I should say. No, I have not. Okay, I'm gonna pause the recording. I'll be right back once I'm taking care of all the shopping. Okay, we're back. Took care of shopping. Bought up everything I could. Wait, wait. I'm trying to see if I can get that achievement for buying up uh, every single drink. Maybe it's just because I missed this one, because I don't remember grabbing Dorian Aule. Nope, still nothing. Ah well, guess not all the drinks are available. Okay, now let's hang out with Futaba. Welcome back. Oh, Akira, welcome back. Uh, welcome home. What do you want to do today? Let's hang. You know we're in the middle of an operation, right? Are you sure you don't want to infiltrate? We'll be fine. Really? Eh, I guess I can't complain too much since you're going to be hanging with me. You got some time? Let's keep going on that promise list. All right. Okay then, let's hold a strategy meeting in LeBlanc. Don't worry, there aren't any customers around right now. Hmm. The next promise on the list is... Go to school. Right. Pretty hard stuff for the second boss. It's gonna be even harder knowing there are people there too. All right, let's well, do it. ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go. Huh? You're going to school? Oh, uh, never mind. Just go have some fun. <laughs> Here we are. School. I think my heart's gonna pop out of my chest. Huh? huh? W what are you doing here? Um, well... I see. A promise list, like what you used to make with your mother. Well, do you want to come in? Um... Um... Can I use a go home instead? Let's do this together. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Most of the students have already left, and all the teachers are in a meeting. Oh, and I'll join you. I can use my position as student council president to avoid any problems that may arise. Really? You're incredible. If you've got if I've got you two with me, this place is gonna be as easy as fighting a trash mob. I'm not sure I understand. That's a good thing, right? Anyway, come on. I'll show you around the school. Um... This is the cafeteria, where some students choose to eat lunch. Uh... Lunch. That reminds me of this time I was the only kid who didn't get a pudding with my meal. Oh, and the other time I ate a strawberry with ketchup on it. I didn't notice because they're both red. It was really gross. Uh, um, anyway, the cafeteria is pretty boring, huh? Uh, let's move on. This is the school library. We have all the regular academic fare here. Textbooks, encyclopedias, study guides. But we also have a few manga and light novels at the request of some especially vocal students. So many books. Do you like to read, Futaba? Mm -hmm. Back in elementary school, I memorized the titles of all the books on a shelf at just one glance. The other kids thought I was making it up when I told them, though. But then when I recited all the titles to prove it, they just laughed and called me a freak. Am I weird, Akira? This one doesn't matter. No, you're talented. I don't want to be talented if it's going to creep people out. Ugh, school is the worst. W well, should we move along? Uh, the only cro- only the classrooms remain, though, on second thought, maybe we should pass on those today. Hmm. Shall we head back to the entrance? <sighs> I'm sorry, Futaba. No. Don't be. It's my fault. I remembered all that sad stuff on my own. I guess dwelling on the past is just a bad habit of mine, huh? I think it's cute. Huh? What kind of weird fetish stuff are you into, Akira? But... 
Honestly, Futaba, it's clear how much you've improved recently. You would never have gotten so worried about this before. Huh? What I mean is, worrying about something is the first step toward changing it. Coming to school like this is a huge breakthrough, Futaba. You're doing great, right, Akira? Ooh, Wait, so you're somebody. happy with me even though I got totally depressed? Hmm, is this like saying... A, is this like that saying about when life gives you lemons? <sighs> Maybe I can make lemonade for the Phantom Thieves. Or, figuratively speaking. You're right. That would be wonderful. <laughs> ah, yeah. Butaba seems enthusiastic. Position hack. Chance to instantly hold up enemies when starting a battle. Nice. All right. I'm sure you'd make a lot of friends if you decided to come to school now, Futaba. Friends. Futaba? Oh, uh, nothing. Alright, I went back to school, so that means promise number two is all done. Okay. Anyways, let's retreat for now. What are you feeling for dinner? How about curry? And make it like a rabbit and hop on out of here. Ah, you're back. Things are getting really crazy online. Phantom thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't hear people talking about the phantom thieves in the city, too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This fervor may be too extreme. It is a dangerous omen. We could face great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. Don't scare us like that! Ain't no way somebody's gonna figure that out. Either way, this excitement has definitely piqued the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones who sneak around? It don't make sense. Another box came for you. What did you get? Fragmented armor, spyware laden gear. Let's see, shady commodities, blah blah blah. That reminds me, I should check it out, see if they finally restocked those black kogatanas and robes. I need those. I don't get it. Well, I don't need anything else from them. Alright, but the other reason to come up here is to give the last of the mega fertilizer to our plant. Whoa. You're gonna use that one? You must really care about this plant. But not quite enough to rank up. All right. Whoa. That should do it for a while. Okay, now. We're going to be spending some time with Hifumi. I feel somewhat unsatisfied playing on my own. Since I'm at the church, may I ask you for a match? Hifumi seems to be waiting for you. Let's go. I'll be right there. Thank you very much. Please, prepare yourself on your way to the church. Hello, Hifumi. Now, I should note that this does change whether or not you're, uh, depending on if you're intimate with her. Good evening. I traveled overseas for a school trip. The weather was really nice there. It's still so hot here in Japan. It would, but it would be nice to dine out once in a while. However, I can't help but wonder what we would eat. Um... Tactical analysis with variety taken into consideration leaves me with a buffet? Oh, never mind. How about we play a match? See, Neko Shogun won't deepen quite yet. Let's hang out. Now, if you are platonic, you'll be heading to Wilton Buffet. If you are intimate, you'll be headed to Odaiba instead. Is this a place you recommend? Let's go. Coming from you, it must be great. <laughs> Just as I thought, you like restaurants that have a calm atmosphere. 
That aside, there are so many different types of food here. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, how should we plan our attack? Let's see what you've got. If you're on the intimate route and you are at Odaiba, you have to tell her you can always count on me. Hmm. If that is what you wish, then I must give this my all. Actually, I often ate at a hotel buffet with my mother, but to protect my image, she told me that I couldn't what I could and couldn't eat. Those aren't fond memories. However, I feel like today's game will prove to be quite fun. Well then, shall we begin? I'll start. Which of us can best decorate this dining table to a fair match? I feel like my bond with Hifumi will grow stronger soon. Thank you for today. That was fun. Thank you very much for today. When is President Okuma going to get down and beg for forgiveness? The sooner they get it done, the better it is for society. We're counting on you, Phantom Thieves. Don't let us down. Those politicians and Okumura both deserve divine punishment. Ah, uh, this place is sold out of Phantom Thieves merch, too? When I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day, they had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. It'd spell the end of this country if kids started wanting to become more like the Phantom Thieves. You're already in your second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. If you're looking for safety and stability, Civil Servant is a good option. Hey, Kurusu. Why don't you try? Not all Civil Servants work in government offices. Which of these occupations is a civil one? Fisherman, the uh, fisherman of Nagaragawa. Very good. Oh, I'm impressed you knew that. Only the cormorant of fish, only the cormorant fishermen of Nagaragawa are officially used by the Imperial household. Those fishermen are granted spots on the Imperial household's agency, Imperial household agency's board of ceremonies. That said, you can't break into that industry, even if you wanted to, since it's a hereditary occupation. If you want a government job, try for a spot on the diet. Though some may say that's hereditary, too. Hey, did you know that? I had no idea. Maybe he's actually... Maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, shoot. The teacher's glaring at us. Nice going. Let's see, smart to answer a question like that. Yada, yada. Doesn't matter, because we can't get any smarter. Well, at least in the sense of this game. All right. I'm honestly fed up with politicians these days. Isn't there anyone who seriously wants to improve this country? Hmm. Oh yeah, they said on the news that the cabinet's approval rating went down again. They're the complete opposite of us. Our popularity and approval have been going through the roof. Yeah, yeah, I know. Only 12 days left. Ah, let me double check something. Da, 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 da. Yep, we've got a tower persona because we're going to be spending time with Oda. Or, uh, yeah, Oda. I'm at the arcade. Are you coming here today? You should stop by. I can teach you some new moves. Let's head over immediately. Okay, I'll be waiting. By the way, have you eaten yet, Karusu-san? I'm starving. But the hunger doesn't really bother me when I'm playing. Let's see, this response doesn't matter. The first two responses are when you immediately agree to uh, talk to them. Did something happen? No, not really. Okay, I'll be training with a lecture today. If you pay for my meal, I'll let you have the course for free. Okay. I get my meal, and you get your training, so we're both happy. Let's go. Now stop wasting time and take me someplace to eat. Phew. I'm stuffed. Gotta eat good because I'm fighting a war. 
Didn't I tell you? I've been having serious battles with kids at school. They attack me in large numbers, so I can't let my guard down. Well. All they did today was throw eraser crumbs into my lunch, though, though, so I won that round. This one doesn't matter. Are they bullying you? It's a war. I'm on the defensive right now, but I'm looking for a chance to counterattack. I could finish them in a second if I put my mind to it. It's just that now's not the right time. It gets kind of annoying having to watch my back all the time, though. Maybe I can ask the Phantom Thieves to take care of them. Your food is here, sweetheart. Well, today you lost. So that means you'll just have to try harder next time. Now eat up and feel better. You're not mad? Of course not. You did your best, and that's what all that counts. Now, no more crying. Wrong. What a joke. Once you lose, it's over. That's what my mom told me. My mom's fighting with my school about how classes are taught, the way teachers treat students, the size of the classes. Hey. Since the divorce, my mom's been taking care of me all by herself. She says it's exhausting. She leaves really early to go to work, and then she comes home really late to take care of me. It's no wonder she demands so much from the school, you know. All of my classmates make fun of her and call her a complainer. When I tell them to stop, they call me a mama's boy. That's how the war started. My mom gets made fun of because I'm weak. That's why I gotta get stronger. That's the spirit. That response does matter. Well, the Phantom Thieves would laugh at me if I lost now. But I've got a long way to go. Oh, before I forget, I need to show you something. Don't tell anyone else about this, okay? But I'm going to show you a guaranteed way to win. I feel like my bond with Shinya is growing deeper. Warning shot. Able to scare enemies in negotiation to make it easier to obtain a persona. Not bad. But that does use up ammo. I wish I could be a member of the Phantom Thieves and help them defeat the bad guys in the world. Oh, it's kinda late. I guess I should go home. Let's see, help your kindness grow. But not quite enough. Alright. Later. Thanks for the food. Later. Alright, nothing else. We're gonna be spending time with Chihaya. There's something I need to tell you. If you're free, let's hang out. <laughs> I have a lot to show you today. Here we go. Look, mental training for sports. Oh, and building a successful business from the ground up. I even have a book about the secret to being a good listener. It was written by a hostess from a club in Ginza. Just picking out which books to bring took me half a day. I have tons more back home, though. I've started using these as reference materials for the advice I give to my clients. This way I can suggest new alternatives instead of leaving them resigned to their fates. You're such a hard worker. Of course. After all, I need to be able to advise my clients on their future selves. Anyway, what I really want to tell you is that I've arrived at a new fortune-telling philosophy. Those with strong convictions can, in fact, change fate. Uh, oh, and as for the people I sold holy stones to? I've started reading their fortunes free of charge. I'd like to return the money they gave me too, but, um... Uh, this response doesn't matter. But what? Well, um... Am I interrupting? What? Yokota-san. It's been a while, Maiden. Um... What are you doing here? The chairman asked that I come see how things are going. Hmm? And who are you? Um... Th that's my apprentice. I haven't actually introduced him to the chairman yet. You're telling me you're so busy you need to hire an apprentice? Oh, um... Yes, he's been a wonderful help. I see. I guess I should have expected such great foresight from you, Maiden. 
Now then, I should be going. Th thanks. Thank you for stopping by. I'm sorry you had to see that. Maiden? This response also doesn't matter. That's, well, a nickname of sorts. A anyway, it's a private matter, Kurusu-san. Nothing you should concern yourself with. W wait, are you perhaps worried about me? Thank you. Oh, I'm so touched, honestly. My luck really improves when you're around Kurusu-san. <laughs> I know, in return for that, I'll predict your luck whenever you want. Fate reading provides a preview of some abilities for a confidant of your choice. All right. Honestly, I don't really see the point in it. At least not if you're using a guy to get all your confidants, because you're going to get them all anyways. I suppose if you're just doing a blind playthrough and you want to know, okay, what abilities can I get from this confidant? Should I focus on them? Yada yada, blah blah blah. By getting a Fate Read, you can find out a Confidant's future abilities. They will then be viewable from the Confidant menu. Oh. My, it's already so late. I should close up for today. Goodbye. Good night, Kurusu-san. Hey, are you keeping up with the comments online? There's a lot of hate for Akumara, and a lot of expectations for us. It'd be better get this done as quickly as possible. Oh, why don't we go to the palace today? Don't get impatient. What? You really only go at your own pace, don't you? This is our chance to show off the power of the Phantom Thieves. Don't procrastinate too much, man. Don't worry, we'll get it done. We have to, otherwise we'll lose. Shall we begin? Well then, let's begin class. We'll start with a summary of the previous lesson. Well... Um... Mr. Inui, please come to the faculty office at once. Oh? I'm going to the faculty office, so make sure you take this time to study. Kawakami's graciously given us this free time, so we'd better put it to good what use. What do you want to do? So, what's the plan? We're gonna read. We're gonna finish Master Swordsman. The heart that believes in oneself is the truth of Bushido. Mm. Oh. So, you finished reading Master Swordsman. I'm sure you must have a better understanding of the resolve that drives a Bushido master. Yes, but not quite enough to max out our guts. All right. Ah. The teacher's back. Oh, that's Who could have made that announcement? At any rate, let's return to our lesson for now. Yep. Phew, that was close. Kawakami helped us get a good chunk of free time, though. Okay then, well, first and foremost, seeing as how we just finished that book, we're going to be heading back to Jinbocho. There's so many books here, it's crazy. I feel overwhelmed and excited at the same time. Welcome! Hmm, so you finished reading Master Swordsman. Very impressive, considering how young you are. Well then, let me sell you another book you may enjoy. Yep, we're going to goodbye. Call me Chief. Thank you. Come again. And then we're heading back to Shibuya, to the underground walkway, because we're going to be spending some time with Yusuke. It's you. Ah, Akira. What do you plan on doing today? Let's hang out. Why? Sure we have time for that. Slow down, Yusuke. I'm still mulling, mulling over what Kawanabe said to me. That reminds me, I would like to speak with you and the others. Do you have some free time today? And it seems like we're ranking up once again, because this time we were supposed to spend time with him at Ikebukuro. 
but we're ranking up instead. So let me move forward. It's actually not that far ahead. It, we would have been doing this on October 2nd anyways. So we're just going to have to switch it up and hang out with him at Ikebukuro on the 2nd. It's good to take a break. Want to hang out? Let's hang out. Indeed. I would like other opinions as well. I shall send out an invite to see who has time to meet. If I wish to do so at LeBlanc, if that is alright with you. Sorry. My apologies for calling all of you here like this. Boss was even kind enough to serve us coffee before he went shopping. Now then, I have a vital request. Hey! Hit me with your best shot. All the tough problems are gonna have to go to Akira, though. Hey! Mm, I can help with any subject that's not math. Hmm? Do you two honestly believe I would ask you here for help in my studies? To tell the truth. The truth is, I am planning to display my work in a competition. The one organized by Kawanabe of the Japanese Art Support Foundation. You remember, yes, Akira? I must win and prove not only my ability, but my intense passion for art as well. However, I am having quite a bit of trouble determining what my next subject would should be. I haven't given this painting a fair amount of thought, but nothing has come to me yet. Hence, I was hoping to hear your opinions on an ideal subject. Oh yeah. Hey, how about you have on strip? Wait. Uh, how long are you going to keep bringing that up? Anyway, maybe you should paint something people find pretty. Hmm. So in the end, we return to the concept of beauty. Akira, what subjects do you think would most capture beauty? Oh, it has to be on. Hmm. I suppose she is a subject I put great focus on in the past. But now I am aware of her true personality, I am not sure I could paint her beautifully. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Why can I not paint a beauty as pure as the Sayuri? Where have all my studies gone? You know, I'm not really sure what you mean by pure beauty. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty painting. But I'm not sure I really consider it a pure beauty or whatever. Huh? Hmm? I don't know, I guess it just feels more gentle to me. Honestly, I almost cried the first time I saw the Sayuri. It felt kind of like I was a baby again in my mother's arms. She was watching over me, telling me everything was going to be okay. That was the gentleness that painting made me feel. <laughs> this is coming from someone with absolutely no art knowledge, though. I see. Gentleness. That is yet another aspect the Sayuri captured that I cannot. Is my heart too cloudy? No way, man. It ain't cloudy, dude. Are you sure about that? Painting used to be all my heart desired. I needed nothing else in life. <clears throat> but now? What now? I have become overwhelmed with a need to prove myself to Kawanabe, to prove myself to the world. I look down on Madarame for focusing so sharply on fame and money, and yet I too yearn for the praise of others. In truth, oftentimes I regret declining Kawanabe's offer. How could this be? Is this what pure passion is supposed to look like? My heart is clouded by worldly desires. <laughs> You've really grown, Yusuke. What? My ugliness has helped me grow. Yep. Kira's right, dude. Ain't na nothing wrong about doing your best to make a living. Yeah. And you just want someone to acknowledge your work, right? That's some serious passion. But how can passion be born from these repulsive thoughts? You think? Listen here, dude. I was totally like you back on the track team. I just wanted to prove myself to win. To get all the girls to call me shit like Sakamoto Senpai. But, you know, even through all that, I was trying to help my team out. Sure, it's a solo sport, but nobody's gonna run till they puke if they don't got teammates they want to inspire. I guess what I really want to say is, you gotta do stuff for people beyond just yourself if you want to succeed. I see. Hmm, is that how it is? So the sincere gentleness held within the Sayuri, the warmth of its heart, it was all for the sake of those who gaze upon it. How interesting. So that's what you mean. Ah, I see. Whoa. Huh? What do you see? 
I have been a fool. Beauty is not the superficial thing I have long thought it to be. It is something that wells up within the heart until it breaks free. It is a gift given by a subject unto its viewer. Yes, I finally see the truth. That's very kind. The three of you, the three of you have my sincerest gratitude. You have been a truly tremendous aid. Uh, yeah. Uh, how exactly? I s we somehow managed to help Yusuke out. I feel like my bond with Yusuke is growing deeper. Endure. Chance to withstand, a withstand an otherwise fatal attack with one HP remaining. Alright. <laughs> yes, the time has come for my brush to meet Canvas in beautiful harmony. If you'll excuse me. Man, he's acting even weirder than normal. You look pretty inspired, though, so he'll be fine. Right? Anyway, are you guys hungry? I might ask Boss to make me something nice once he gets back. Maybe curry this time. Come on. God, you eat so freaking much. Oh yeah, and what was that crap about being good at everything except math? It ain't nice to lie, you know. No! I wasn't lying. It's just really hard to get good grades at Shujin. If you're not getting good grades, you should have known Yusuke wasn't going to ask you to study him. Uh, study with him. <laughs> On Ryuji and I enjoyed the rest of our time together. It's getting late. I should probably take them to the train station. Ah, you're back. Okay then. Now with that slight detour, we're going to be spending some time with Mishima now. Let's see. If I'm right, he should still be in... Yep, Akihabara. Hey. Oh, Karusu. Oh, right. Do you think we can talk about last time again? Leave it to me. Okay, yeah, no, we're on the right path. Rank 7. I want to go somewhere I can talk to you alone. Uh, how does the park sound? <sighs> hey, um, I've been thinking a little about Akiyama-kun. I don't want to change his heart. Huh? W well, actually, I was going to say the same thing. I mean, going after him wouldn't even help you guys get famous. It'd be practically pointless. You still care about fame? Wait, how'd you know about that? Oh. I get it. Of course a thief who steals hearts would see what's going on with the depths of my psyche. You know, I first started the fan site so I could spread your message of justice to the world. But before I knew it, the only reason I wanted to help you guys was so I could get famous myself. Though, maybe that's always been the real reason. I don't know. I thought I was doing it out of respect for you guys. Yet, deep down, I think I really just wanted to show the world I'm more than some stupid zero. Look where that got me, though. I'm just a selfish loser clinging desperately to your popularity. I don't deserve to work alongside the valiant phantom thieves. Well, thanks for everything. Bye. Ow! Man, I totally ate dirt. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I can't even run away right. <sighs> Working alongside the Phantom Thieves has made me feel like I, I myself can change the world. But it's only ever been you guys. I'm still just as powerless as always. That's the truth. <laughs> I wonder if there's really any way a pathetic guy like me can help you. I'm sure there is. Karusu. Thank you. I'll just have to think of what that might be. Wait, that's it? The fan site. How could I have forgotten something as important as that? I don't want, to, want it to be about public relations anymore, though. 
First and foremost, that site needs to be a safe haven for people in serious trouble. After all that happened with me, to me with Kamoshida, I know how hard it can be to speak out against injustice. So, as long as there are voices crying out to the Phantom Thieves, I'm going to help them be heard. Mishima seems to be showing your renewed motivation. Fanboy. Greatly increases XP earned from battle. All right. At any rate, we should just forget about going after Akiyama-kun, okay? I'm still worried about some of the rumors I've heard about him, but I'll do some more research. By the way, he's not as bad a guy as he pretends to be. Apparently he's super sweet to his girlfriend. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They've been talking about getting married even since back in middle school. I'm honestly kind of jealous. Well, see you later. Anyway, I'll see you later. What do you think will happen to Okumura Foods? Shucks. Well, even if the CEO has a change of heart, the company's image is still in ruins. I imagine their stocks plummeted. You think Okumura really exploited his employees? No, well, every little rumor goes viral these days. What if it was all just a lie? If so, the real victims here are the employees themselves. Nah, the rumors about Okumura Foods were all well known in the industry. You're overthinking it. How many more days do we got again? Aren't we cutting this kinda close? It's honestly hard to focus with all of this looming over us. Totally. These lectures are just going in one ear and out the other. Sounds like business as usual for you, Ryuji. I'd be glad to help you study if you need it. I'm a third year after all. I wish I could say no, but I'm in some deep shit here. Yeah, I think I'll take you up on that once we finish our mission. Good point. Dividing our focus between two dilemmas cannot be good for us, psychologically. Well, only ten days remain. This may be our most crucial moment yet. Hey. Yes, I know. Ten days left. Doesn't matter. Okay. First things first, we're going to be spending time with Shinya. See capsule, got Phantom Thieves badge. Wanna train again today? Yep, but our bond won't deepen yet, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Shinya is silently playing. We played gun about with intense focus. I feel like my bond with Shinya will grow stronger soon. Bye. See ya. Catches here. Ah, sorry to intrude. I simply happened to be passing by and had an urge to drink a cup of fine coffee here. Well, thank you for your patronage. <laughs> I should be thanking you. This is one of the few places I can actually relax. My apologies. I'm sure it must be closing time soon. I will be on my way soon enough. Yeah. Uh, you know, I keep forgetting to call Kawakami. You know, Akechi's still a customer here. Let's not brew any coffee right now. Okay. Hmm. I'd like your opinion. Do you think the Phantom Thieves will target a President Okumura? I don't know. I see. I see. A cautious response. The Thieves have answered the expectations of the masses, hence the current state of excitement. It will not go well if they choose to betray those expectations, as I'm sure fa the Phantom Thieves know. Hmm. I see. Must be going now. Coffee was delicious. Now we can call up Kawakami. Yep. Make sure you close up. Hi. Okay, and now 
we're going to be spending time with Hifumi. There's something I'd like to say, as your teacher. We can have a lesson as well, if you'd like to play a match. So what are you thinking? Do you want to play Shoji with Hifumi? Head over immediately. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the church. I quit the Ladies Professional Shogi Players Association. I need to start over as an amateur. Well, that's rough. It was inevitable. There were a lot of people who covered for me by saying that I was just being used by adults. But I'm the one who was most at fault. I was overconfident. If only I had taken a look at myself and properly assessed my shogi skills. I believed that with my skills, I could overcome being treated like an idol. There's nothing I can say about my mother. You didn't abandon me, even after you learned about the fixed matches. Now I know how encouraging it feels to have someone believe in you. At first, this was just a deal. You help me develop new moves, and I give you shogi lessons. But before I knew it, you became... someone I couldn't do without. I'm not gonna pay attention to all the criticism anymore. This time, I'll earn everyone's praise with my own skills. I believe in you. The reason I'm able to think this way is because you stuck by my side. I'm really grateful. I feel a strong bond with Hifumi. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the star, granting thee infinite power. Togo system. Allows you to swap current party with backup members during anyone's turn. That is going to be very useful if we ever need to swap out for whatever reason. Alright. Because now we no longer need to wait for, uh... Akira's turn to switch him out. You can now fuse Lucifer, the most powerful persona of the Star Arcana. Well then, on to our final lesson. I truly hope that you... No. That the Phantom Thieves find my lessons useful. Hmm. So you know. Yes. I spoke to you about my mother, and then my mother changed. I mean, it's not like it happened immediately. There was plenty of time in between. But yeah, I can see how you make the connection on that. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. If there's anything I can do to help, please know that you can rely on me. Thank you. I will support you in whatever you want to accomplish. Let's play a match. I have a lot of new moves I'd like to test out. I hope you're okay to stay here a while longer. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. That's another confidant maxed out. Can't really do anything with, uh, with those ultimate persona because we don't have access to... Uh, well, we don't have the proper level to create them. Huh? Who could that be at this hour? The movie theater nearby is showing a great classic sci-fi movie. You have tomorrow off, right? Let's take a break from the Haru thing. Let's go see Back to the Ninja. Ah, sorry Futaba, I'm gonna have to decline. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Time to make like a tree. You're turning her down? Well, it is your choice. 
Uh, we should go to bed. can't wait for his public apology. They should just execute everyone who causes trouble for society. Whoa. Ooh, maybe they could take down my boss. Politicians who knock the Phantom Thieves are just sore losers. What about a Kichikun? Is he too afraid of backlash to comment? Nine days left. Yes, I am well aware of that. Alright, well, first things first, business as usual. Let us head to Shibuya, to the underground walkway. Get our usual weekly Ijiro to boost our proficiency. And now we're going to do today what we should have done on the 30th, and that is to hang out with Yusuke at Kebukuro. Ah, Akira. What do you plan on doing today? Let's hang out. Why? Slow down. I'm undergoing a bit of people watching to get out my thoughts. Would you care to join me? Without Thoth, won't deepen just yet. Let's hang out. Well, what would you like to do today? Let's go somewhere fun. Yes. Very well. So where shall we go? I would prefer somewhere so beautiful it simply titillates the imagination. Where? Here we are, Ikebukuro. Ikebukuro, huh? There's a planetarium there. Wanna go? Let's go. The planetarium. Hmm. That may be a good place for me to make new discoveries. Let us head off. Let's go, Akira. Yes. You know, I don't mind waiting before the show begins. It's the perfect way to prepare yourself before being fully immersed in your imagination. Ah, and so it begins. A swath of vibrant stars suspended in a void of cold darkness. Pure beauty ruled by the laws of space. I see, I had been truly blind. I'm glad you're better now. Yes. Yes, I've truly awoken to a greater inspiration. Space is where everything began, and so it is filled with near-infinite possibilities. Hmm. I may have said this before, but you provide wonderful stimulation, Akira. It feels as though you have expanded the boundaries of my perception. Thank you for that. I ask that you continue introducing me to new experiences. By the way, the couple over there seems to be giving us quite a cold gaze. Is it my fault, or perhaps both of ours? Please, take this to commemorate today, my Space Memorial Day. Okay. Oh, what a wonderful day it is. Star stickers. Nice. I feel like my bond with Yusuke will grow stronger soon. <laughs> ah, I can hear my canvas <laughs> beckoning to me. Everyone's comments used to be so encouraging, but now they're actually kind of frightening. This is utter chaos. The public dislike of Okumura has grown exponentially as well. How are you holding up, Haru? How we've been receiving anonymous threats almost every day now. That's scary. But our security is tight, so it's been okay so far. I believe things will calm down once we finish this, Haru. And what about us? Are we going to get all popular and shit again? Let us not concern ourselves with that for now. I only pray that things calm down. Well, then. Let's see, shopping program? No, thank you. Because we are going to hang out with Chihaya. There's something I need to tell you. I want to talk to you face to face. Are you free tonight? Sure. I'll come talk. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Thing is, 
life. Recently, my reputation has really started shooting up. A lot of my clients leave happy now, too. <clears throat> Sorry about that, my throat really started drying up there. Recently, my re reputation started shooting up. A lot of my clients leave happy now, too. I even managed to use my own powers to alter some fates that had once seemed inevitable. I suppose all you really need to change fate is a strong will, like what you have. I wish I could do more, though. Are you on a break right now, Mifune-kun? What? Fu-fu... Fukurai-san? So, you are the pr apprentice I've heard so much about. It's a pompous middle-aged man. Yeah, I'd say that about covers it. So, are you the apprentice I've heard so much about? I've been run wondering, why are you so interested in Mifune-kun? I like fortune-telling. And that's why you volunteered to apprentice under her? You must be quite a big fan. That aside, I have to commend your judgment in choosing Mifune-kun. Her fortunes are like a light guiding lost lambs through the unending darkness ahead. Oh, um... Uh, by the way, Kurusu-san, this man here is Fukurai-san. He's, um, the chairman of the ADP. Oh, that's right, you don't know about the ADP yet. It stands for Assembly of the Divine Power. Our goal is to relieve the hearts and minds of today's weary souls via healing events and seminars. We also sell holy stones, the well from which our divine power springs. They are a large part of our business. Um... Fukurai-san, um... That reminds me, Yokoto-kun was telling me you've been acting a little... strange recently. More importantly, it seems you've started falling behind in your holy stone sales quotas. Is everything okay? Y yes I'll cover the decrease in revenue with my fortune telling fees um Fukurai san I um I'm not sure how effective these holy stones really are excuse me uh... well do you remember who showed you the way when you arrived here from the countryside and lost and confused do you remember who saved you when you were stuck working in a CD club with no place to turn it was me are you saying you no longer have trust in someone who's done so much for you that's not. Then enough of this skepticism. Just focus on continuing your role as the Maiden of Relief. Read the futures of those unfortunate souls who come to us and lead them to salvation with the Holy Stones. This has to be a joke. This response doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, the first re three responses on this doesn't matter. Hmm. There is no salvation for those who joke. I... You don't want things to go back to how they were, do, how they were, do you, Mifune-kun? Don't you remember breaking down in front of me, telling me how everyone called you a monster? If you don't carry your weight as the Maiden of Relief, I'll be, you'll be exactly that, a monster. Leave her alone. Kurusu-san. Fine, if you want to spend your time fooling around with this child, go right ahead. But don't forget, Mifune-kun. The ADP is the only place you'll ever belong. Ah. <laughs> I, I, I've never actually worked at a nightclub. I did get tricked into walking into one, though. Anyway, the chairman is known for exaggerating details. You must think I'm weird, huh? All this talk about me being a maiden or a monster? This one does matter. You're just Chihaya to me. What? Huh? Nobody's ever treated me so nicely before. But... By the way, it was pretty amazing how we stood up to the chairman back there. I would never have been able to talk to him about the Holy Stones had I been alone. But your strength helped me speak up. I need to be strong like you more often. Alright. Even so, the chairman seems serious about the whole Holy Stone issue. He'll make me pay a fine if I don't meet my quotas. There's a huge penalty for resigning from my post. I suppose my fate is impossible to change after all. Um. Anyway, I should close up for today. Until next time. Good night.
Um... Good morning. It's just one week until the day my father promised. I want to change his heart by then, no matter what. I don't want him to keep making mistakes. That's why I want to go to the palace today. How about it, Akira-kun? Let me think about it. Yes. Alright, let me know once you decide. It'll work... I'll work hard too, so let's try to get this done by the deadline. just cannot understand. To be honest, I'm fed up with how happy people have been acting. Stealing hearts, social reform, don't give me this Phantom Thieves nonsense. It's all so unscientific. I mean, how could they target Big Bang Burger and Okumura Foods? They're criminals. That artificially consummate flavor, enough volume to fill a small universe. Are the Phantom Thieves trying to steal the galaxy called junk food from me? Ew. That said, Kurusukun. The night sky may be filled with countless galaxies, but in the entire universe, which of these is the closest to the, its density of stars? Three watermelons in the sun. <laughs> That's it. I expected as much out of you. Yes, the correct answer is three watermelons in the sun. Three bees in the whole U of Europe works, too. In other words, the universe is essentially empty. There are countless stars in the sky, but the universe is even more vast than that. Even within our galaxy, the stars are separated by a great distance, even though you can see so many. Hey, did you know that? I had no idea. Uh, maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Close, but yet far. Hehe, <laughs> you could say the same of our hearts. Ugh, if you only knew the places we've been. Hey. Yes, yes, only eight days, I know. Well, let's see. Nothing else to do, except for take care of the weekly shopping. I will tell you this, I will be meeting you with Shinya once we have taken care of all that, so I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, shopping is done for the week, even managed to get a black Kogatana from the uh, secondhand shop, so I might want to check out the uh, uh, shady commodities, maybe they've got something. But that's not important right now. Let's see, yeah, badge. Been really good. Train today. Belfagor will grow stronger soon. Let's do this. All right. Okay, let's just play a game then. Hey. How are the Phantom Thieves doing? Sounds like they had another success, huh? That's cool. Oh. The war's still going on. It's probably because they think I'm weak. If only I was as strong as the Phantom Thieves. Hey kid, you may be small, but you played a great game. What? What's so being big is better? Ha, my bad. I didn't mean it like that. I just thought we should be friends since we're both gamers. The name's Takikuma. I make a living from gaming more or less. Ever heard of me? Huh? Huh? Takikuma? The pro gamer? Yeah, you're the guy from all those videos online. And you're the one they call the king, right? I've always wanted to play you. But I don't know if it's a good idea. I mean, if I beat you, your rank will definitely drop. And I don't need people bashing me for bullying a kid. You bastard! You just called me weak. That's it. We're playing. I won't lose. As, it, as I expected of the king. Okay, let's get this started. gonna win. I have to. No way. How? The king is getting destroyed. That's Takekuma, isn't it? He's awesome. Huh? I missed? The king lost. 
Th that doesn't count. Let's play again. You got it. Wow, that's ten losses in a row. King got slaughtered. Ha, that's hilarious. Ugh. One more. One more game. No matter how many times we play, the end result will be the same. We should probably stop. For your sake. Shut up. You, bastard. you cheated, didn't you? Yeah, you tell him. Right? There's no way I could have lost. Man, I guess the king is just a little kid after all. Looks like I overestimated your ability. I'd feel bad beating you again, so I'm going to go. Make sure you practice for the next time we play. Damn it. You've got to be kidding me. Get your revenge. I will. I'm the one who's going to win in the end. If I lose, it's all over for me. I'm going to beat him next time for sure. This isn't over. The strongest always win in the end, just like the Phantom Thieves. Watch. I'll win for sure next time. I'm not a loser. You'll see. Shinya's more motivated than ever before. But no new skill. All right. Crap. It's late. I gotta go. What? Man, that Takekuma, though. Telling me to practice for next time. A grown-up shouldn't spend so much time playing video games. Interacting with Shinya. If kindness has increased. All right. Bye. Today tired me out. I'll see you later. Aren't you bored? So you show you the ropes? Not today. Now then, I am going to check shady commodities real quick. Nope, no black kogatana. Hmm. Well, let's see. How many do I have? see. I need two more. Let's see. We'll call up Kawakami, make some coffee for us. Yep. Make sure you close up. Hi. And now we're going to spend some time with Mishima. Is so amazing. The Phantom Thieves fever has run rampant. Fan sites blowing up. So, you did the request I asked you to do? Thanks. Hey, I'd like to talk to you about today about how I'm helping you guys. Do you have time? Sure. So, what do you do? Are you meeting up with Mishima? Let's hang out. Come on, let's get going. Let's go somewhere close then. Sorry. One sec. That was from Akiyama-kun. He said he wants me to stop by. Apparently he's pretty close. It sounded serious. Um, I don't think we should ignore him. Can you come with me? Huh? Uh, Akiyama-kun? Mishima. Ah, oh, there's our guy. Look, Akiyama-kun. Look, Akiyama-kun says he's not going to be able to pay up this month. How about you spot him? That's what friends are for, right? Friends? Huh? You guys ain't friends? Don't try and mess with us, Akiyama. Is this loser supposed to be the friend who is going to help you? If you don't got anything to do with this little bitch, Akiyama, I suggest you get out of here. Come on, Toru. Looks like we're going to have a, have to go have a nice chat with that girlfriend of his. But please, no. I'm begging you. Sorry, but you broke our promise. Now she's going to have to be the one to pay us back, if you catch my drift. This is what you get for trying to screw us over. Ha 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 ha, you're so cruel, Yuta-kun. Akiyama-kun. 
Prusu, run. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't want to get you involved. Though, having you here is definitely reassuring. I think I have an idea. It's risky, but it might just work. If anything happens to me, take care of Akiyama, Kun uh, Karusu. <laughs> hey, you guys! C crap, I bit my tongue. Huh? You're still here? Run away, you idiot. Um, you'd better lay off Akiyama-kun. I've been taking a video of this whole conversation. Huh? If you do anything to Akiyama-kun or his girlfriend, I'll bring it straight to the police. Oh, and don't get any ideas about breaking my phone. It backs up to the cloud automatically. Uh, hey, what should we do? We'll be fine. The police ain't gonna do shit because of a stupid little video. Why don't you run along home to your anime girls? We don't got time to deal with losers like you. <sighs> They're the real losers. Crusoe, you're right. Eh? What the hell? Look, I know you guys are supposed to be tough and all, but are you sure it's really worth getting arrested again over something like this? I mean, this video is definitely enough to get you guys busted given your previous criminal records. How'd you know about that? It doesn't matter how. Just leave Akiyama-kun alone and we'll be even. Then, if you keep your word, I'll delete the video. The backup, too. You'll delete them now. No. Uh, Yuta-kun? I've had enough of this shit. <sighs> Man, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. My whole act would have been would have broken down if they didn't back off when they did. <laughs> I really suck, huh? Ah, you were super cool. Hmm? Y you think? Even if I peed in my pants a little, dude, don't admit to that. The truth is, I've dealt with enough bullying to know guys like that have probably been arrested at least once. <laughs> oh, and thanks for sticking by me, Kurusu. We can't let injustice like that go unchecked. I think I get it now. This feeling is what you made me want to help you is what made me want to help you guys to begin with. That's why I started the fan site, to make sure that nobody has to go through stuff like this again. Shima seems extra motivated. Alright. <sighs> Akiyama kun, are you okay? Looks like they really laid it on you. Mishima, why'd you help me? Huh? You didn't need to get involved. S sorry. It looked like you were really in trouble, though. So I stepped up. Is that so? Anyway, can you walk? Do you need us to call you an ambulance? I'm fine. Just go. Oh. Alright. Come on, Karusu. Well, see you later. Hi! Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Alright, I'll see you later. Do you think the Phantom Thieves will do the same thing to that CEO that they did to our principal? Come on, they aren't gonna murder him. Besides, I'm pretty sure the principal killed himself. No way, that was the Phantom Thieves sending a message. Wake up, people. It's time to atone, or something like that. I'd kill for that kind of power. These ratings are insane. Haven't they gone up even more? It seems to there seems to be no end to it. People are truly enjoying this. But their dislike of Okuma is starting to impact Haru. I'm okay. It was shocking at first, but I'm not letting it get to me. I'm more worried that Father will try to do something drastic. Anything's possible given the state of public opinion. 
Well, we just gotta make sure nothing bad happens, yeah? We don't have much time left. We have to handle this. ASAP. Okay then. Well, first and foremost, actually, we need to read the this message from Mishima. This one's important. Apparently this post was made by someone with ties to the banks and the finance sector. Their target this time is a guy who never pays back his loans. It sounds like he might be involved in an organized crime, too. He could be dangerous. How dangerous. Well, apparently even the police are having trouble catching him. Eh, been there, done that. He keeps changing his name and appearance to elude them. I guess he's basically the man of a hundred faces. Not bad, huh? According to one particular post, he's currently going by the name Fumio Akitsu. I went ahead and made a warning post about it. Is that okay? Yeah, either way, I'm sure it'll be easy for the Phantom Thieves. Oh. Wow, this is some good info, even for Mishima. Let's discuss whether or not we go after this guy over at the hideout. Okay then, now, this is going to be important. This day changes depending on whether or not you are intimate with Tai. If you are not intimate, then we're going to be spending time with her. If you are intimate, however, then you won't be able to hang out with her, and you're going to want to do something that will not affect a confidant that you're still working on, or something that doesn't involve a stat that isn't maxed out yet. You could head into the palace to make it easier to finish by the deadline, or go to Mementos and Grind. But don't forget to call Kawakami afterwards when getting home so you can still do evening activities. You can also just go straight back to LeBlanc as well. But, thankfully... I want to make sure I've got a Death Confidant. Yep. Or Death Persona. We are not intimate with her, so... We are going to be hanging out with Ty. There's no one here. It feels like a day off because I don't have many patients today. But it's raining, so I may get an influx of people with colds. So, what are you here for today? I want to do a clinical trial. I kind of want to eat some junk food. But it might affect the trial results. Oh well, let's get to the clinical trial. Casa, bond won't deepen just yet. Let's hang out. Maybe I should invite her to go get manjayaki with me. Invite her. Ready? Okay, let's go. Hey. This is the best type of food for mixing. Not only can it be ingested at the same time as the food, I can also check its reaction to heat. I'll take care of this. You just sit there and watch. Wait, what did she say? Not only can it be ingested at the same time as the food, the oh, best type of food for mixing. Yeah, just confused me a little. I'll take care of this, and you can just sit there and watch. Please go easy on me. <laughs> Don't worry about that. First, let's try it with manja. That, uh, let's try it with manja that doesn't have anything else mixed into it. I only tried the condiments, but not bad, huh? This is to say thanks for helping the development of the medicine progress so fast. When I thought about what type of food I could cook for you, this is what popped into my head. Hey. Want to try something other than manja? Filling my bond with Takemi will grow stronger soon. Let's head home. Okay, let's go home. Okay then, let's see. First and foremost, let's make sure that we have a Hanged Man persona because we're going to be spending time with EY. Need help at the shop. Stop by if you can. Let's go. I'll head over now. Hurry up. <sighs> Everyone has a secret they don't want anyone to know. I'd barely use a PC because I'd be in trouble if it got hacked. So, you're here because you saw my message, right? I want to work. I got work for you to do around the shop today. You got some time later? 
Or this. Grow stronger soon. Let's hang. Good. All right, come to the back when you've finished. You got a minute? All right, that's good for today. Oh, but there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about the secret Suda mentioned. There's more to it than my having been in the Yakuza. I just want to make sure you don't go saying something stupid if you run to Kaoru around here. Back when I was working with the Hashiba clan, some crazy lady came around our office. Must have been over ten years ago. She had this baby with her, and the whole time she was there, she kept going on about how she wanted to sell it. Figured she was just some cracked up junkie looking for drug money. But then when I told her no, she sat the baby down and ran off. That baby was Kaoru. <laughs> Thinking back on it, I'm still not really sure why I took him in. Not only did I have to leave the clan, but now I'm stuck running this shop I don't even like. <laughs> Every day's an uphill battle. I still haven't managed to tell T Kaoru I was in the Yakuza, though. Uh, this first response doesn't matter. Why not? Let me ask you something. How would you feel if you found out your parents were wrapped up in some dirty shit? That's how my mom was. She'd spend every night out drinking, running around town with all sorts of guys. I couldn't stand to see her destroy herself like that. Often, I wished I would could have had someone else as my mom. So I didn't want to make Kaoru go through the same thing. I wanted to make sure he had a good childhood. That's why I left the clan. I did everything according to the code, but now Suda's dragging me back. Once he remembered I run this fake gun, shock, <clears throat> fake gun shop, he came by asking me to make custom models for him. Though he wasn't really asking, the bastard forced me into it by threatening to tell Kaoru everything. Truth is, Suda's got all sorts of dirty... <clears throat> all sorts of dirt. Not just on what happened when Kaoru was a baby, but on me and the rest of my family too. Who knows what'll happen if Kaoru learned the truth? Suda isn't going to stop there, though. I'm sure he'd go on and tell everyone else he could. When it's all said and done, he's going to try and take everything I have. Shit. If word gets out about my past, people are going to treat Kaoru like he's no different than me. After all, everyone knows shitty parents end up making shitty kids. Once he's got that stigma, he'll be stuck with it. When shit goes wrong, he'll always be the one who gets blamed. That's how it was with me. <clears throat> That's why I turned to the Yakuza. Nobody else would accept me. That's also why I can't turn Suda down. He's just got too much power. You're pathetic. <laughs> you got that right. I bet Kaoru's sick of having a weak-ass dad like me. Anyway, I was trying to stall Suda with bullshit prototypes while I figure out a way to stop him. But that bastard's real good at keeping his cards close to his chest. Plus, he caught wind of what I was trying to do and started keeping tabs on me 24-7. Thankfully, that's just about when you showed up, kid. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry for bringing all that shit up out of the blue. You probably don't want anything to do with me after that, huh? Eh, I'll stick around for the guns. <laughs> Man, you're seriously into this enthusiast shit. Oh, right. I just remembered. I never gave you a reward for that info. Hmm. How about I give you a discount on the special menu? That should keep you quiet for a while. <laughs> Pretty good deal, huh? This feels like my bond with EY is growing even deeper. Discount. Decreases the cost of gun customization. Alright. Damn, it's late. I should be getting home. <sighs> Garu's been eating a lot, uh, 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 eating a ton lately after cram school. He's probably gonna have another growth spurt soon. Anyways, I'm closing up for today. You should head home too. Let's see, has helped home my proficiency. And it was enough to max it out to transcendent. Right. Excellent. That's one more stat maxed out that we don't have to worry about. Later. Take it easy, kid. Good morning. 
Hey, isn't it almost time? The deadline is the 10th. If we don't do something by then, Haru's going to get taken away. Let's head to the palace, okay? I'm thinking about it. No. Let's move. At this rate, Haru's going to be given to that man. We can't let that happen. Let's go change our father's heart as soon as possible, okay? Now, everyone. Now, let us begin class. Do you understand what we went over last time? Well... Ahem. Miss Usami, please come to the faculty office at once. What could it be? Everyone, make sure to study on your own while I go to the faculty office. Kawasakami's graciously given us this free time, so we better put it to good use. What do you want to do? What's the plan? Same as always. Let's read. If we're gonna read, call me Chief. Chief is the man who commands all respect. Wow. I love the sound of the word chief. I'd like to be called that too someday. Hey, hey. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So, how far did you get? Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Ah. Ah, the teacher's back. Honestly, that was all about nothing in the end. Let's resume the lesson. Yep. Phew, that was a close one. Kawakami helped us get a good chunk of free time, though. Hey! Hey, shouldn't you tell the others? Yeah, what Mishima told you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode. However, I can promise you this, that next time we will be heading into the Okumura Palace. So be prepared for a lot of action. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to leave it off there for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and to let you know, uh, I've made a decision on the straw poll link for our next series. Like I've been saying lately, uh, if it ended up in a three-way tie between Prey 2017, Dragon Age Origins Awakening, and Yakuza 0, which it has, then I was just going to go with Yakuza 0. And anyways, if you could, also, please leave a comment down below this video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.